Hey everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video on possibly the lowest mileage Lincoln in existence, right? So what we wanted to do today was go over the originality of this car because in the real world of restored cars, right, um, they're only original ones. You know, that's a, a, a line that a lot of restorers talk about, they're only original ones, but we wanna make sure that we can prove that. So having original paint to me is the, is the real pinnacle of original cars. You know, because a lot of people will call and say, listen, I have this original car, but I repainted it back in 87, and then I redid the seat covers in 94. Well, it's no longer original at that point. This car here, uh, I personally purchased out of the garage of this, uh, of this owner. She could no longer drive, but I will say this to you. She clearly could take care of a car better than anyone I've ever met in my life. It was uh, heated and air conditioned. Uh, the paint is spectacular. The leather is supple. The carpets are nice and deep. All the nice features work, like the tilt steering column and uh, uh, the air conditioning blows cold and power windows and all of the accoutrements that go with this. The only thing you might add to a car like this if you wanted to is maybe some wire wheels or something like that and the, and the Vogue tires. That would look really sweet. Or you leave it bone stock and you take it to shows. Like as these cars become more and more popular, you're watching them go up in value, right? This is the car that they will use to restore other cars because all the original chalk marks are still under the hood. The original decals in the factory are under the hood. All of the originality is wrapped up in here, all right? So uh, one of the things I always like to do is this right here is an electronic paint meter. We'll take a quick walk around. This measures millions of an inch thick of paint, right? And it needs to be uh, consistent around uh, the car, up or down three millimeters either way. Let's say if it was five, it should be between three and seven to be original. And then obviously above that, it would mean that something has been painted on the car and would not be original. We've metered the car ahead of time. And when Angie and I take a moment to walk around, I'll show you each of those, okay? I always like to talk about paint quality. So uh, although uh, light colors don't show up really well uh, in here, you want to be able to make sure you can read all of that font, and you really can. And so we'll also start with uh, measuring the paint thickness, okay? And so we'll start here, and you hear that nice beep, 4.5, right? Come on around, 3.5, says we're staying consistent, 3.5. Right? This is an amazing tool. It's what we use uh, on new cars, right? To measure to see whether they've been in an accident or wet sanded or something like that. We'll come on over here. 4.5. This right here, this is how you really know. That, folks, is an amazing, amazing piece of history. All right, so I think that this right here is probably one of my favorite parts of the car because under here are decals you can't buy anymore. So for instance, like here is the build date of the engine. The decal still on the valve covers with the original stamp uh, of paint on there. The original stamp on the air cleaner, right? When is the last time you saw uh, the OK mark here on the valve cover and this canister uh, for part of the emission system circa 1976, right? All the belt drive is still in place, chalk marks, all of these things that you see there are not anything that we've added. Those are original style uh, pieces of the car circa 1976. We're talking about, uh, we're doing this video in 2020 right now. I want you to think about how long ago this really was. Uh, this is amazing. We're talking about 40 plus years of history and a car that's been driven around 400 miles a year and still amazing, amazingly intact. I'm looking at little stamp uh, paint marks here just to make sure that these headlight doors have been checked and they stamped them right there and that was uh, showing that they're working properly. Little stuff like decals that you can't buy anymore, chalk marks, that kind of stuff just says to me and there's the build tag uh, as well for the car. Everything's still intact and beautiful uh, and beautifully preserved. All right, so let's check out this here. This is, uh, I don't know man, this is just so beautifully preserved, right? The carpet, the jacking instructions, the paint marks showing that this inspector uh, inspect this car all over. Uh, check this out here. Original spare tire still on there with the nipples and things like that. I don't think it's ever been used because you can see the paint lines on it the way it's there. Uh, this, uh, I don't know, it's just a, a piece of history. You say, well, why are you getting so excited about the trunk? Well, I get excited about the trunk because this is a trunk from 1976. It hasn't been molested and it's all original and just amazing, amazing condition. Even things like uh, the weather stripping, which usually would be dry and cracked and what have you, uh, is in great shape. And I love the style. 
of this here, right? This is the, the, the tire that would have been on the back for like what really started with like T-Birds and things like that. And you would have gotten that cool add-on tire feature there. And this, they really added that into the style. So anyway, uh, let's take a peek inside because inside it is super preserved. Mm, I can't even say that properly. And we're going to check out some buttercream buttercream. Croc skin, buttercream, buttercream, croc skin, buttercream. All right, everybody, this is the moment uh, that I wanted to talk about because this, we are now wrapped in buttercream, buttercream. Buttercream, buttercream. So some great features of this car. First off, the preservation of it. This is all original. I'm not sure if the floor mats are original, but the carpet is, uh, the seats, and how supple the leather. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know how to explain to you how clear the gauges are until you sit in here and see the little detail stuff they went into. 18,451 original miles on it, right? This has a cool feature where the tilt wheel is actually built into uh, the turn signal, right? And then you have cruise control right here on the steering wheel. This has the original AM FM Quadrasonic. Quadrasonic 8-track tape player. <laughs> this is cool. Turn all this stuff on. Things like the fasten seatbelt buzzers, the door ajars, low fuel light. Like all of those lights are working the way they're supposed to. Uh, it's got the Cartier clock in there as well. And beautifully preserved interior with, you know, fully functional seats, power windows, all that good stuff. It's got tilt and everything like that. Air conditioning, power windows, power seats, cruise control, upgraded stereo, incredible interior, and just, uh, so well preserved and i have to tell you something that's, uh, that's probably the best part is that when you drive this car although it looks a little big from the outside when you drive it it drives really nice it's got great power the ac is really good the super comfortable and when it's outside of all these other supermodels that are in here when it's on the road people love it all right so listen we're talking 1976 we're going to close up this video with some things that you may or may not know about these cars lincoln was in heavy competition with cadillac this car has a big 460 cubic inch V8, right? It has factory dual exhaust, okay? Um, the underneath of the car is beautiful too. You definitely should check out the pictures of that. Uh, Angie's done a nice job showing us uh, the detail of that. It's got the big heavy duty rear end, uh, four wheel disc brakes, right? And then we ran down that big long list of, of luxury. This was the most expensive car that they sold at the time and it really is First off, it is a great driving car. Second, it's a great looking car. But third, most importantly, it is a piece of history, right? That is preserved in its natural form. We metered the car. We showed you all of the great stuff. I love this little feature right here where, boom, boom, all right? Anyway, call us, 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about this 76 Lincoln Mark. And uh, don't forget, if you would, share that video down below. We'd love for you to like it as well. And uh, we're going to go for a test drive. Can't wait for you to go for that. Thanks very much.